This video is a hodgepodge of different little things uh, that I have done or, or do on a base, regular basis in many uh, that uh, uh, make things a little better. I'm hoping that, there, that somebody will get some benefit from it, that they can adapt it or use it directly. Uh, that's what it's for, being put up to try and, try and help out across. And here in a few days, I hope to uh, uh, upload a little bit of stuff that I shot uh, while I've been out. I didn't shoot much because I was uh, in some heavy-duty uh, heavy duty work situation that uh, involved all of my time. I was, I was fried at the end of every day. So, uh, but on the last day, uh, I took a little bit of time and did a little walk around. And uh, we'll get that up here in the, uh, sometime in the next few days. But I want to say thank you to everybody who watches, and uh, uh, you know, hopefully this is some benefit. Thank you, and, and uh, thanks again for watching. Well, I don't know if uh, anybody noticed it whenever uh, one of the prior videos when I'm showing the uh, uh, overhead uh, area above the driver and passenger seat that the blind on that side was, was broken. Uh, we got it re-strung yesterday. You know, Everything I've seen on the internet said something like half an hour. Ah, forget it. Uh, I was probably three hours or better getting it done. But we got it done and it works. Uh, uh, so I'm pleased with it. But anyway, just wanted to show it. I'm going to share with you something that, that's partly working for me, partly not. Uh, even I'll recut, probably will still use. But... Uh, the reflectics for my passenger door has always had a tendency to want to fall down and I came up with a brilliant idea of using some magnets. I had a super magnet I put in a bag and yeah there's enough metal around the door for it to work. And, and I got them up behind and it kind of dawned on me. A magnetic door uh, cabinet latch will work just fine because it's already got the built up, no fabrication involved. I found these at, uh, if maybe you can see it a little better, I'm gonna pull one of them here and show it to you. Yeah, that's what they are. Uh, I found them at Home Depot, for 87 cents a piece. They hold enough, it doesn't take much to hold that Reflectix up, so we can just gather these up, throw them in a little bag, and, and throw them in the, in the side door pouch or something where you got them. Uh, keep them from falling down. Uh, the only problem is the magnets aren't, aren't as strong as, it, uh, as the magnet I tested with, but it still works. It doesn't take much to hold. This got cut out of, my, uh, out of the introduction to many time limitations. I'm shooting this again. But you notice the, uh, these are my front reflectix, uh, uh, you know, sunscreens and on the front window. But those, you see the tongue depressors or, or the big uh, hobby sticks, you can find them in a bag at Walmart. Uh, I use them because I slide them up underneath the, uh, uh, or above, I guess I should say, above the uh, uh, visor. There you can maybe see a little better and let them slide down. That way you're not wearing out that friction bushing in your visors and uh, they work well for holding them up or there. Um, yeah, just thought I'd pass it on. Now, <laughs> the thing I'm really proud of, <laughs> we bought a two inch gel filled, uh, you know, the gel infused uh, memory foam uh, mattress pad or topper whatever you want to call them you know obviously the uh, uh, the folded down seats back here in the back to make up the rear bed do not match up you know it's bigger than a twin but smaller than a full size bed so we had to cut it and if you follow suit on this and do it on your own you know once you cut it you own it. There, there's, there, there, they won't stand behind you on anything. But, uh, and if I remember correctly, the uh, dimensions were 45 by 65 for this cut. 
but I laid down on it last night after I laid it on there and I've got a sneaking suspicion that I'm not going to want to get up in the first night on it. I'm probably going to go off and be gone for a long time. But anyway, I wanted to share it here. I will uh, give an update on it after we've used it so that uh, everybody knows what I really truly think of it. And I don't know if it shows up in the video here, but you can kind of see the, the, the up the downs and the ups and the downs and it's the way the, the uh, cushions lay you know you don't get rid of that but if it makes it lay more comfortable uh, it's a way it it's worth it